Dean explains why this bomb-sniffing devil dog holds a special place in their hearts. I, I pretty much started crying, I'll be honest. I mean, she started screaming in pain and everything, just yelping and all that. Going in circles, you know, trying to figure out what's going on. She was real scared. It was a nightmare for Lance Corporal Eric Devine. His five-year-old black lab named Dakota hit by a bullet, and surgeons ambushed their unit as they returned from a patrol outside Marja. Dakota and I had an appointment were caught out in the open and really had no cover at all, and that's when she got hit in the... They were trapped in a firefight. The rounds were snapping overhead, I mean, hitting the berm in front of us and everything, and I completely stopped caring at that point. I just wanted to get her out of there. So all I could do was uh, pack gauze in her and you know, try to hold her up until the medevac came. He wasn't sure if Dakota would survive. It, it tore me up pretty bad. Once the shooting stopped, Dakota was rushed to a medical facility at Camp Leatherneck. When we did the x-rays, it uh, looked pretty nice, actually. The hips were really good. Uh, the hips looked really nice. They were all intact. And she's actually doing pretty good. She's doing pretty good. She's, uh, uh, she's very chipper. Uh, she's alert and responsive, uh, and she's, she's hungry. So she's eating very well, which is a good thing. And great news for Lance Corporal Devine, who feared losing the one buddy always by his side, protecting him from deadly IEDs. I was about a foot and a half away from the pressure plate when she laid down on the main charge. And she saved my butt on a couple occasions. Uh, this time, the Lance Corporal was glad he could return the favor. She's my best friend out here. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. Alicia Dean, NBC7, 39. The Marine Corps added IED detector dogs to its military working dog program last year.